Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2023. I cannot believe it. Well, actually, yeah, I can. I'm ready for 2023 to begin. The holidays are over, thankfully. It was kind of stressful around here. I just feel like there's always so much to do and I'm running, running, running in December and it's just nice to be done with everything. So I'm not really big on New Year's resolutions. Um, I am not a big New Year's person. I think it's just another day. It is a clean, yes, it's a clean slate. We kind of, you know, the year is what we're going to make of it. But I really just like to take small goals um, and just look back and just try to better myself. Just basically just keep going and be the best person I can be. Um, it's not that I don't have goals, but I just feel, you know, a lot of times you set yourself up for a fitness goal or a financial goal or all these big lofty goals. We obviously set ourselves up, for, well, I do anyways, for failure, right? Um, so I am a big self-help person um kind of year round i'm always trying to work on myself better my mind um emotionally physically so i'm always reading 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 i love to read um i love self-help books i love anything that's going to make me a better person help my family help my kids um, so I figured this would be a good um, video to start off with my five top self-help motivational books for 2023. Um, so the first one I have, if you don't know who Ed Milet is, you have to get on Ed Milet train. I listen to his podcast um, and I got his book, The Power of One, One More, The Ultimate Guide to Happiness and Success. This was a really great book. It's an easy read. Um, he is such a great motivational speaker. He's a brilliant businessman. Um, and uh, The Power of One More teaches you how to combine intentional thoughts and actions to produce huge changes in your life. In addition to fresh insights on important topics like leadership, time management, habits, and goal setting, Ed also introduces you to new and unique concepts of impossibility thinking, living in your matrix, equanimity, faith, and prayers, and why you must embrace inconvenience in your life. So it's basically just telling you all the ways that you can show up just a little more, even if it's just one little thing will help you um, in your life. He goes into relationships, marriage, um, family, finances. It is a great book and I highly recommend this. The next one, she has become one of my favorite, favorite authors, especially for uh, motivational, inspirational writings. Uh, Brianna West, she has an Instagram account that um, she posts a lot of excerpts from her books. I got The Mountain Is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery. This was awesome. Again, easy read. And she just goes into um, basically how we get through conflict, how sometimes we do self-sabotage ourselves, what we can do to not do that, build better um, habits, emotional intelligences, and the way she writes is just beautiful. I can't explain it. Like, you won't want to put this down. And um, she just has a way with words that just, like, pulls you in. So this is another one. It talks about resentment, jealousy, triggers, um, being busy. What does self-sabotage look like? And I feel like we all kind of, um, at different times in our lives, self-sabotage ourselves, right? Um, so this is a great book. I highly recommend her. I love her. And her other one is 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. So this is longer, um, but again, very easy because it's pretty much a lot of them are like bullet points 
um, along the way. And I've even like, like highlighted things in here. Um, just, it'll, it teaches you how to change the way you think about things. Um, it says, this new compilation of her published work features pieces of why you should pursue purpose over passion, embrace negative thinking, see the wisdom in daily routine, and become aware of the cognitive biases that are creating the way you see your life. Some of these pieces have never been seen. Others have been read by millions of people around the world. So this, again, she takes um, expert excerpts from her Instagram um, page. And it's just how to stop worrying about how your life looks and stop focusing on how it feels. I mean, just everything. Um, it's such a, such a good book. It's a great book, I think, to start the new year off in. So she's a great author. Another one I like is by Joshua Becker. He's the um, creator of Becoming Minimalist, The More of Less. This is a great book. I've really gone on a mission of trying to declutter my house, my life, my thoughts. And I really like him. Um, he has a YouTube channel as well. And his philosophy on minimalism you know, I think people, it gets a bad rap sometimes because people think it's just like, oh, having like two pairs of pants and two shirts and, you know, living by the bare minimum. And to a point, yes, it is about having less, but that can look different for everybody. Um, and I think it's basically just all in how it makes you feel. Like, what is your version of minimalism? And I know that I've um, made an effort to get rid of stuff in my closet, um, you know, stuff in the basement. And when I, you know, decluttered my makeup and when I did do all that, it made me feel better. It just, it's just like you walk into a room, it's like, oh, it's not clutter. You open your closet. You're not seeing, you know, 10 sweatshirts from 10 years ago that you don't wear anymore. Why are you keeping them? I don't know. That was me. So this is a great book on um, finding the life you want under everything you own and tips and tricks to kind of pare down and realize like what's important in life and how we, how to get through a society that basically is just all about consumption and spending and buying. And um, it's a great book. I think this is another great book to start the year off. So this one and then last, but certainly not least, I love this woman. Um, she's called the Holistic Psychologist on Instagram, Dr. Nicole LaPera. Yes, LaPera. Um, how to do the work. Recognize your patterns, heal from your past, and create yourself. If you have not got this book, I highly, highly recommend it. It is probably one of the best self-help books I've ever read and I think it's so nice when these professionals honestly they open up Instagram accounts and literally you're getting like three three free therapy um it's something that's so selfless and it, it, it truly helps so many people and I know that I you know will sit there and watch her you know reels that she does and just all her posts literally are so helpful and then she compiled it into a book um just everything about how, it's what it says how to do the work in your life um it offers both a manifesto for the self healers movement she has a self healers group that you can um, get on the wait list to be a part of and really do more of a deep dive into self-healing work um creating a more authentic, joyful life, drawing on the latest science from epigenetics, polyvagal theory, microbiome research, and more. Dr. LaPera presents an interdisciplinary holistic approach to mind, body, soul, wellness, unlike any other. Um, shows readers how to recognize their core beliefs, identify conditioned thought patterns, and tune into their own intuition in the process of reconnecting to their true selves. It's just, it is a great book, a great read. I highly recommend. This is a great read to start the new year off. And then she just came out, which this goes with this. I, I haven't actually dived into it yet, but I just got it. It's How to Meet Yourself, the workbook to self-discovery. So it's the workbook towards this book. Um, 
and it goes on literally each chapter um, and it's basically a journal and each chapter hits different um, points like section one is how we need ourselves your conditioning you are not who you think you are um, let's see there's the section two meet your habit self section three meet your emotional self section four meet your authentic self and then each section you have um it's like what you'll learn little paragraph and then daily questions you know response that you do some journaling so i'm excited to try this like i said i pro i've been into self-help books since I was a teenager. I mean, I remember going to the bookstore. Like, I just always been obsessed with self-help, becoming a better person, really having this emotional intelligence to, um, you know, understand ourselves better, understand who we live with better, understand our, you know, childhood traumas, family um, trauma, generational ties, all that. I find it very intriguing. So this is, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into in this coming year. So I highly suggest you jump on this train too. So those are the five, five books plus a workbook, books and authors that I really recommend to start the new year off to get your mindset in a good place. Um, Brianna West, Dr. Nicole LaPera, The Holistic Psychologist, Ed Milet, and Josh Becker, The Power, The More of Less. Um, because I think, you know, life is hard enough and we, you know, we hope each year starts off on a good note and we all, of course, don't wish for hardships to come or things to happen, but as we all know, they do. So um, I feel like the more you can strengthen your mind and have a good sense of self and who you are and your identity, oh, okay, my battery is dying, um, it just makes us stronger and it makes us, um, you know, it's, it's easier to get through things in life when we have... Um, I feel just like a solid mindset. It just makes things a little easier. And um, I know it's um, a daily battle for me. And that's why I um, I love books that kind of keep you going in that mindset because, um, you know, life is hard and we have good days and we have bad days and we have good periods of life and we have bad periods of life and um I just feel you know the wisdom that people provide um is so beneficial especially now I feel like it's so hard to one you know the cost of therapy and trying to find a therapist I feel like after COVID like you know I've heard from so many people like it's so hard to get into somewhere or see somebody and you know, a lot of times people, you know, over the Zoom thing isn't always the best. Um, so I, I really find that like people like Dr. LaPera, um, it's so great when people open up, you know, Instagram, any social media to help other people and they're doing it for free. So um, one way we can support them is by buying their books when they come out. So this will kind of be a continuous thing because like I said, I'm a continuous reader and I love, and I actually have two books already that I have coming in um, that I want to read that I'll probably do another like, uh, you know, my favorite five authors again. So stay tuned for that. Um, definitely my goal is to be posting on a regular basis here and to grow this channel. Um, I know I posted a few months ago and was not consistent. So I've kind of built, um, my husband very nicely built me a little studio um, in my girl's playroom, like sectioned off some walls. So it's um, more professional. I'm still getting in the background. I know this kind of looks a little cray right now. I got a big old plant here and it's, we're, we're working on it, but I figured I'd post a video anyways. I wanted to say happy new year. Um, this channel is basically just going to be 
just like I'm hoping to just build a community a lot geared to women over 40 and um, will be 43 next month um, you know beauty of uh, my first few videos were talking um, I, I love you know beauty I'm really I try to focus on clean beauty not perfect but I do try to um, you know I think we're all in a mindset now we're trying to look at you know I'm big on ingredients and just trying to find the cleanest version of things within reason. I mean, we, we can't be perfect, you know. There's a blush that, you know, I really like that I look on. I really like the Clearia app that I talked about in a lot in my two prior videos. Um, I try to stay like five or below for, you know, toxic level. Um, but we're not perfect. And, you know, I might show things that aren't necessarily the cleanest, but I do try to gear towards that. Um, lifestyle, health, fitness, and again, just kind of like building community, talking about books and talking about kids and family. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to really growing this channel. I hope you will like. So yeah, I'm looking forward to really growing this channel and um, hoping it really takes off into a community we can all look forward to. Um, being a part of so i hope you please like and subscribe to my channel and i look forward to making more videos take care everyone bye